Alright guys, as you see, we are in St. Denis. We're gonna go speak with Sadie and Dutch. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? Why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today Sadie, is the day when isn't she riled up? Uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this. A police this. officer? I want to know where you got this touch. I don't think I do. I don't look really snazzy. Okay. Come on. Uh, Sadie, don't you look all fancy? Well, don't we just look the part? <laughs> Even our to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. Huh. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba and then seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Cone. Yes. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those Let's triggers. Let's lose him. No. I don't want to. Dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? And now we get to see Colm go. Hey. Alright. Good. Now. You see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Colm's boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> well, you know what they're gonna do. They're gonna try to shoot Stay down his rope. Don't do that. <laughs> Sadie, you know she'll do something. Go brush that horse, oh. officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. He I sure guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. All that really mattered to you was... Whatever Micah's saying to you. Let's go. Quiet. How comes he gets to walk a little faster? Doesn't look like a bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Dawn's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. So that means we get to the roof. They got a guy up on the roof. 
overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get them. And do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Well, let's see, we got a ladder right oh, here. There's a ladder. I've seen it before you, Dutch. Hush. Say, it should let me up there. Which way was it? Shoot him. I mean, it goes red. I'm sure it doesn't actually want me to shoot him, but... So it's one of Colm's men, but... Eh, look, short stop sudden drop. Oh, Sadie. Why you don't give me snipers, guys? Where's Poli- No, that's Dutch. Mm. Oh, I got his hat. That's about it. I think Dutch got him. You, but not me. Unless Arthur's gonna rush down there, it's likely during this cutscene.
Well, that is an end of Golm. Does Arthur have anything to say about this, I wonder? There's a little cutscene thing I thought maybe. He's right. That's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Tilly's right. Tilly is completely right. My dear Arthur. You never showed up, and now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. No. I miss you, and I will always miss you. We don't want but you. I cannot live Arthur like deserves that. Someone you cannot a lot live better than you. Way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave. That's just... Not pay attention to what she has to say. Okay, Arthur. Um, apparently there's a trophy for that. Alright. So we have... We have Sadie. And... The flies. Which I think we will do in the next video. I will see you then.